This is uh, based on advisory number 17. Remember I told you it wasn't going to intensify anymore? Well, it intensified some more. Typhoon Wootip uh, did get stronger. If uh, it happened yesterday, we'd be in a typhoon warning. But it happened today, so uh, this is advisory number 17. And... Uh, Okay, this is the uh, last visual of the day, and you can see it's got a really nice eye on it. And uh, it's getting close to a CPA, but, uh, and this is the color. Remember the color, it's the infrared picture. The, the satellite radiometer looks down and whatever it sees the temperature of. So if it sees really warm temperatures, that's the uh, ocean surface. And really cold temperatures, that's the eye wall cloud around the storm. And uh, um, and this is the water vapor. And uh, this storm is now interacting with the, with the trough over to the west. and. Uh, and uh, this is uh, going to slow it down. It's moving toward the northwest. It's going to slow down. It's going to get fairly slow movement over to the west. And it looks like eventually it's going to decouple, shear apart. Part of it will go northwest and part of it will go out toward the Philippines. This is the microwave picture. So this is like a radar from space, okay? So it sees through the clouds. We can see the underlying structure, so this is really heavy rain. There's still lightning going on in there, so this storm could still be intensifying a little bit. It's already a Category 4. Category 4 is the next highest to Category 5, which is the highest uh, category for typhoons. You can see out in this area, there's not much banding. So there's Guam, Rota, Tinny, and Saipan. That's why we're not getting much wind right now. But it'll fill in probably later on tonight as these bands move out. And uh, on the radar, we can see at 2,500 feet, there's 70 knots of wind. So we can see 70 mile an hour wind gusts later on tonight. And uh, so that's a nice, uh, nice shot. And this is the track. And you can see that Guam's pretty much in it. Road is just out of it. We have, a, we have a tropical storm warning out for Rhoda, too, because uh, as the winds come around to the southeast, you know Rhoda, the savannah there, the big plateau, 1,600 feet high? Well, in Song Song, the winds will push up against that, and they'll accelerate. So we expect to see uh, stronger winds in uh, Song Song Village. So you can see, though, when it's at its closest point of approach, it's still going to be about 100 and 25 mile per hour storm. So. This is the uncertainty. And what this says is that it would be very difficult for the storm to, to move in a direction that would directly threaten us as a typhoon. So, uh, but we'll still keep watching it. We always watch it. So, uh, but right now, it's going to be moving this direction, moving slow, slower and slower and slower. That's going to create big swells out to the west. So, uh, so uh, so here we go. We what 11.6 north at 7 p.m. and 143 east, 175 miles southwest of Guam, and uh, farther from Rhoda, Kenya, and Saipan. Moving toward the northwest, 325 degrees at uh, 10 miles per hour. It's expected to slow its forward movement over the next 24 hours. It's 130 mile per hour sustained winds. It could still be intensifying. It could get a little bit stronger. The gusts are around 160 miles per hour around the eye. It's a category four typhoon. It's expected to slowly weaken after 12, 12 hours. Damaging winds extend out 215 miles all around it. Destructive winds 120 miles and uh, typhoon winds 65 miles. CPA early Sunday morning about 175 miles southwest of Guam. So it's near CPA now. 
and uh, <coughs> so 39 mile per hour winds up to uh, uh, the damaging winds are ongoing until tomorrow. We don't expect the destructive winds, but we can see uh, sustained winds up to high as 50 miles an hour. Uh, Anderson's reported gusts to 66 miles per hour, and we re reported gusts up close to 60 miles per hour. So uh, we don't expect the uh, destructive winds or typhoon force winds. This is uh, we might pick this up. We might move this up to uh, 45 to 50 miles per hour with gusts to 70, and. Uh, so we might put Rhoda into, uh, might pick the winds up a little bit at Rhoda. Saipan and Tinian look to be pretty good. 